Holder in the Stoke Creek National Council Planning Session, March 23rd, 2020. Time is 7.05. At this time, I'd like to ask Representative Patrick Freeman to do the invocation, please. Thank you, Chairman. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your policy. Be with us now as we go through these difficult, stressful times. But bless us and guide us as we go to this meeting tonight and conduct this meeting for the benefit of our Muscogee Creek people. All these things that we have in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Roll call, National Council Secretary, Christy A. Jackson. Mary Crawford. Mary Crawford. Raven. Joy Steer. Present. Patrick Freeman. Here. Joseph Hicks. Here. Robert Huff. Present. James Jennings. Here. Adam Jones. Here. William Lowe. Here. Anna Marshall. Present. Charles McHenry. Here. Thomasina Hola Osborne. Present. Daryl Proctor. Here. Mark Randolph. Present. Travis Scott. Here. Lucian Tiger. Present. Speaker Randall Hicks. Present. Speaker, you have 16 present, zero absent. 16 present, zero absent. Constitutes a quorum. All business conducted will be official. Speaker's report. March 6th, met with Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum with Chief Hill, Second Chief Beaver, Tribal Administrator Greg Anderson, Pat Croft, and Andy Langston. March 9th, attended the Gaming Compact meeting in Oklahoma City. March 13th, meeting with Representative Mark Randolph concerning church grants. March 16th, met with GOAB. March 18th, investment committee meeting. March 19th, meeting with the Okmogee Mayor. And daily meetings with Chief Hill, Second Chief Beaver, cabinet members, and the COVID-19 task force. That's my speaker's report. Moving down to second speaker's report. Thank you, speaker. Uh, ended monthly meetings at uh, Ufala and Shakota, uh, sit in on the Italian conference, which is uh, concerning the COVID 19 on Sunday. And that is all in our report. Thank you. Thank you, second speaker. Ex officio reports Gaming Authority, Gaming Operations Authority Board, Representative Patrick Freeman. Thank you, speaker. Uh, on March 6th, the, uh, I, it was a teleconference for me, but uh, many in attendance for the uh, uh, notification of the uh, closing of the Burbank Spirit Casino and all casinos for Creek Nation. And uh, uh, I think that's all that we have for that with GOAB. Thank you, Representative Freeman. Muscogee Nation Business yeah. Enterprise, Representative Travis Scott. Thank you, Speaker. Excuse me. We, uh, we, uh, I've been in touch with Ms. McCutcheon. They should be sending the financials over uh, pretty soon. They're limited staff at the office now. Uh, she did have a meeting with Chief Hill in regards to the machine shop in Tulsa that is currently under one fire. Uh, they're going to meet with Mr. Everman to look and see if that's a salvageable company. Just if there's any avenues that MSBE can, can try to help with it that responsibility of that company. Uh, they also have some other investments that uh, they were looking at, kind of got put on hold with the meeting statures uh, right now. Uh, as soon as I get more of that information on those, I will forward it to the National Council. That's all I have, Speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Scott. College of Muskogee Nation, Representative James Jennings. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wasn't able to attend the Regents meeting this month due to a death in the family, but uh, I have a couple of items. Uh, currently, the students are online classes through April the 6th. 
it that they have a request through HMP to continue the online courses through April 24th. And graduation has been postponed until August the 7th. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Jennings. Muskogee Loan Fund, Representative Adam Jones III. Thank you, Speaker. Met with Muskogee Loan Fund on March 11th. Um, and the next meeting is actually going to be on April 1st at 2 30. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Representative Jones. Down to committee reports and announcements. Health, Education, and Wellness, Chairman Lucian Tiger III. Thank you, Speaker. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, Health, Education, and Welfare Committee met March 11th in the Council Chambers. The following uh, items passed the committee with two paths CR 20.040. CR 20-041, CR 20-046, CR 20-043, CR 20-044, CR 20-045, CR 20-046, CR 20-047, CR 20-048, NCA 20-010, NCA 20-019. And then we health, uh, health education and welfare also had a joint committee meeting with land, natural resources, and culture uh, preservation. That meeting was held on the 19th. That meeting was held on the 19th of the in the Mount Auditorium. We had two pieces of legislation that uh, passed the committee. Uh, for the due path, there is CR 20 067, CR 20-072. We have no items for consideration. Our April meeting will be April 8th at 2 o'clock, and it will be in the Mound uh, Auditorium, in, not, excuse me, not Mound Auditorium, the Council Chambers, or it will be a teleconference. That will be, again, will be April 8th at 2 p.m., and we have no other announcements. Thank you, Chairman Tiger. Land, Natural Resources, and Cultural Preservation, Chairman Mark Randolph. Thank you, Speaker. <clears throat> Land after resource and cultural preservation met March 10, 2020. The following legislation passed this committee PR 20 049, PR 20 050, PR 20 051, 20 052. 
We have no items for consideration. Our next meeting will be April the 16th. But, uh, Thank you, Chairman Lowe. This concludes the order of business. Next item on the agenda is other business. Is there any other business? Hearing none, announcements? Any announcements? I have one uh, meeting March 24th, pre agenda, 6 p.m., regular session at 7 p.m. by teleconference. Any other announcements? Hearing none, entertain a motion to adjourn. Still move. Representative Huff made a motion to adjourn. Second? Second. McHenry second. Representative McHenry seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same size. Okay. This time I'd like to ask Representative Joe Hicks to give the benediction, please. Thank you, Representative Hicks. Meeting adjourned, 717.